I'm Dale Smith for Looney Politics, and this past weekend at the conference formerly known as the Manning Conference, Preston Manning had a talk where he stated that the uh, political energy available from the occupation in Ottawa is something that uh, members of the Conservative Party could uh, hopefully uh, properly manage to their own benefit. There's a problem with this theory, though, and it goes back to the notion of riding the tiger. Uh, a famous example of this uh, saying is from uh, John F. Kennedy's inaugural address in the uh, 1961, where he said that those who foolishly try to uh, come to power riding on the back of a tiger often wind up inside of it. It's a reflection about trying to harness wild forces, uh, which will more often than not come back and bite you instead. And we've seen this happen before. Now, politicians, however, see a gathering like this uh, and think that there's a lot of potential enthusiasm that they can tap into for volunteers or fundraising or uh, votes. Uh, and it's why when you see a, a movement driven particularly by anger with the current government, they're eager to glom onto it. We saw that with the Yellow Vest convoy in 2019 when Andrew Scheer fell all over himself to join in and uh, wound up espousing a number of conspiracy theories along the way. And we saw it again, particularly this January with the occupation in Ottawa. You had a bunch of conservatives who said, we've got all these people who are angry at Trudeau, we can capitalize on this. But the problem with that is that this mob, and it was a mob, is made up of far-right extremists, grifters, conspiracy theorists, and grievance tourists. They're not really the kinds of people who have the uh, patience or the enthusiasm for a mainstream party. It's also per why they uh, tend to attach themselves to people like Maxime Bernier, um, for whom he was able to draw out people who normally don't vote because they don't see anything in the uh, mainstream landscape for them. And this is where the danger comes in with Manning's notion about trying to ride this tiger. In trying to get these extremists, and a lot of them are extremists, and bring them on side, what you wind up doing is something called shifting the Overton window. And that's uh, a reference to the kinds of uh, what is acceptable in normal dialogue. And when you shift that window towards the extremists, what was normally extremist speech becomes part of the main dialogue. And that's a problem, uh, particularly when a lot of this starts calling for violence. And trying to harness those extremists really doesn't tend to work. We saw them attempt it in the US with the Tea Party and now with MAGA. And while there may have been some particular short-term success in the US, it's also because their system is more fundamentally broken uh, with things like gerrymandering and uh, excluding a large number of people from the lip voting lists. Canada doesn't have that same issue and therefore, these same tactics aren't going to work by courting these extremists. All it tends to do is make the mainstream dialogue more extreme in the end and drags the party further away from the center where the votes are. I don't see this as being a path to victory for the party, uh, and we are more likely to see them inside that tiger. For Looney Politics, I'm Dale Smith.